For the very latest news from Thailand, this is the Fabulous Patia Media Group. If you could like and subscribe, well, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. As Thailand works to repatriate her missing workers in Israel with an absolutely first-class airlift operation, so the latest news is that in addition to several more Thais dying from injuries, an estimated 54 Thai nationals are amongst 200 hostages currently held by Hamas. Those make up over half of the number of hostages that are non-Israeli. These figures, issued by the Israeli government, are an indication of the concentration of Thai workers in the dangerous region prior to the events of two weeks ago. Next week, the cabinet in Thailand is set to review a marriage equality bill which may see legitimacy for gay or transgender marriages in Thailand. This week, though, the Prime Minister sat on a committee to debate trans and gay marriage along with the legalisation of prostitution, which is currently illegal under Thai law. A bill proposed by the Move Forward Party in the previous parliament did include marriage registration for transgenders. That, though, appears to have been cast aside, we're told, in favour of a watered-down version that would not allow registration of marriage, but would allow a so-called registration of partnership. We wait then to see what benefits that would carry, such as the right of inheritance, insurance and estate held between couples where both are born either male or indeed female. The chances of sex work being decriminalised are, we're told, minimal. The 10,000 baht giveaway programme to all ties planned for January now on hold as the committee tries to work out how to fund it and make it more safely available to recipients, hit more hurdles yesterday as announcements confirmed extended delays that may see it not go into practice until May 2024. In addition to new ideas under consideration, such as reducing the cost by only paying it to those on low incomes, word is that other parties have warned that borrowing those funds from the National Bank could be illegal. Either way, the scheme is aimed at stimulating the economy. Two Lao nationals are being held by authorities in Chiang Rai following reports that they were colluding with others to entrap Thais with promises of well-paid work in Lao, where upon arrival the Thais found themselves forced to work in scam call centres. Those centres, we're told, have been raided in a joint operation between Thai DSI and Lao authorities and others are being sought. Meanwhile at home and in our own city, local police were called to a walking street eatery where a young Turk refused to pay his dinner bill. He was found to be under the influence of something rather serious and he was taken into custody and held without questioning until he recovers. Among his possessions, officers found what's assumed to have been ketamine, which the man said he was sold by a local national in the street. Video clips went viral this week of so-called security guards in Treetown, that's on Soy Bacow, beating up a drinks delivery motorcyclist. The 25-year-old was alone when he pulled in to deliver booze. It may have been that some there have a hold on the supply of drinks to bars. But either way, the man was seriously beaten, even after he was down and nearly out for the count. Both attackers are in police custody and we await confirmation of charges as the delivery man remains hospitalised. And if you ever thought that an elephant has a long memory, well, the Thai police have an even longer one. That was proven this week as a New Zealander flew into Thailand and arrived on Phuket for his vacation. Nothing wrong with that. But in this case, the man had been here before, to Pattaya, 15 years ago, when he was released on bail and subsequently absconded whilst facing charges of Category 1 drug possession, now 40 years of age. He thought that with a new passport, he wouldn't be recognised. That wasn't the case, though, and the Thai authorities got their man. He's unlikely to be freed this time on bail. And in addition to his drug charges, which remain in effect, he faces those of evasion from custody. His vacation, then, is likely to be a little longer than planned. And with the Met Office promising highs today and over the weekend of around 30 degrees, dropping down to 25 at night, with storms at times but otherwise sun, trying to peek through the clouds, but very humid days. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.